this was actually, it's a very interesting scientific journey. It also uh, tells us about the fact that uh, science is, is not at all a linear process and it can take uh, uh, many years to, to uh, finally uh, shed insight um, on, on a molecular and a cell, cell biological mechanism. So the idea of how these enzymes uh, could function was uh, precipitate uh, started actually more than ten years ago, and um, in the uh, about actually about ten years ago, we got this striking cryo EM image of a microtubule that was uh, that was um, treated with these severing enzymes, and what we noticed to our surprise was that the microtubules had holes all throughout it. So it really looked like a Swiss cheese or like corn on a cob where the tubule and subunits had been removed from it. And so that was for us kind of the aha moment um, because th when we saw that, we started to ask questions about how can that happen and what would be the consequences of this activity in a cell. And so that led us to this idea that uh, the microtubule can uh, actually be healed. And the reason for that is because the Swiss cheese microtubule now that has all these defects in it exists in cells with a lot of soluble tubulin around it that is actually in a different chemical state than the tubulin that's inside the polymer. And so uh, we started to look at whether now this sites where the tubulin was extracted or pulled out by these enzymes can be now healed or repaired with uh, this tubulin that's in a different state that, that it surrounds basically the, the cytoplasmic tubulin that surrounds the microtubules. And a, actually a, a postback, this is actually a, a scientist that just straight out of uh, finished college and came to my lab. And she started to actually together with uh, staff scientist in my lab to gradually figure out to do these assays and she was really wonderful and figured out conditions in which you could actually see this healing and when she left the lab actually a graduate student and a postdoc really got into the nitty-gritty of how this happened and what they discovered is that this this um this in fact the microtubule is being constantly healed when the severing enzyme are in action. So they're not doing a simple job of just breaking it. What they're doing is they're nibbling in on it. And when they do that, they allow new fresh tubulins that are now in a different chemical state to go and repair that site and strengthen it. So it's almost a little bit like if you think about a road that you're repairing, the part of the road now that's been freshly repaired is much more sturdy and it has very different chemical, uh, mechanical uh, and chemical properties. And as a result, because it's still stabilizing the polymer, it results in actually uh, increasing its stability and amplifying it kind of at the population level. So it was an unexpected, a very unexpected finding based on what initially people had thought about what severing enzymes do. And they thought it's a very simple behavior of just breaking microtubules. And in fact, they, we discovered that it has, they have a regenerative function where they actually repair microtubules constantly. And that's what's important for, for their ability to uh, regenerate microtubular arrays in neurons where their phenotype is, is, is very, um, very uh, uh, pronounced. Right. So um, it's an interesting, I think it's a, it's a very interesting uh, functional corollary of the, uh, of the uh, mechanism of this enzyme. So because basically in the cell, what you have is a fight between the enzyme that is basically chewing and remodeling the lattice and the tubulin that's fresh and has different properties, chemical properties, and trying to heal it. And in cell, it's important to get that balance right, depending on what you want to do. If the cell needs at a particular spot to really disassemble very quickly all its microtubules, it's going to bias the activity of these enzymes to completely extracting as fast as possible and slowing down the healing. If the purpose is to generate many microtubules and have a regen kind of a regenerative function and a healing function, then what you want is you want to basically tip the balance where you heal a lot faster and you repair at a more moderate rate. So it's really all a question of balance. And, and this is why I, I think the, the function of these enzymes is sort of fascinating and why they're actually used differently, at uh, different developmental stages, uh, and also in different microtubular arrays, depending on what, uh, what the cellular needs are at that time.